Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing Cancer? Hope you guys are doing amazing. I hope you guys are as excited as I am as we are in the holiday season. Very, very exciting on this side. Uh, we start to celebrate since Halloween. So I uh, hope you guys are doing amazing. Hope you guys are staying safe. I also do want to let you guys know for those of you guys that are trying to book consultations, whether it's the 30 minute telephone consultation or the video live reading, you guys can now schedule that on our online store. Uh, the moment that we receive notification of payment, we will be personally reaching out to you to set up the appointment time and date. Um, it, uh, availability is limited though, so I just want to let you guys know um, we are now booking for December and January. Um, so as soon as the appointments are completely booked, you will no longer be able to schedule on our online store until further notice. So just putting it out there for you guys to know. Okay. Let's get into your reading Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, and Archangels, what are the messages that you have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month of November 2021? What is unfolding for them? What is it that they need to know at this present time? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What are the messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? All right, let's get into your reading, Cancer. We're starting off here with the Four of Swords. We have the Three of Wands, the Hierophant, the Eight of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so Cancer, for some of you guys, there could have been some type of temporary separation. Uh, you may actually uh, currently not be in communication or not dealing with a person um, there was some type of either pulling away or I, I'm hearing backtracking. So I'm not sure if this was you or if this was the person that you were dealing with. Um, it's almost like the moment it got to the point of like feeling like it was moving very quick. Um, there was some type of halt. There was some type of fear that took over either your partner or yourself. And it's almost like pumping the brakes. But the positive thing in this is that this is in the past in passing. What's unfolding in your near future is there's someone returning to you. There's someone coming back. Um, like I said, that could have been dealing with commitment issues or could have been dealing with not really being certain or sure if they wanted to take uh, the relationship any further. Um, I feel that for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a person that could have uh, either potentially have commitment issues or at some point in this connection there were commitment issues that were coming up but they are coming back around cancer what spirit is telling you is that for this month of november it's going to be very important and very crucial not to rush things so what do we mean by that if this person ghosted you or if they pulled away or if they told you that they needed space or time or room uh, to figure things out in their life, in reality, there were commitment issues. This person is not sure, or perhaps they weren't as optimistic about settling down at the moment. It could have been something that was very intense or very passionate. However, um, there was hesitation on their part, right? There was fear. Um, now, this could be you as well, Cancer, because it is a general reading. For some of you guys, you could have been dealing with a person that was married or in a committed relationship. Someone that came off as we're no longer together, we are living under the same roof, or uh, we're still dealing with each other, but we are in the process of some type of separation. And I feel like they weren't completely honest in that. Um, if you are in fact dealing with someone that is either committed or that is married, I feel like they're coming back around, but the reason why they're coming back around is because they feel this incredible uh, connection on a physical aspect. Be careful of that and be mindful. Should you rush, if you haven't heard from them and all of a sudden they reach out to you in November and you rush the connection or you rush like, oh, I'm so excited they finally reached out, uh, let's you know pretty much pick it up where we left off, you're going to be left feeling like they're juggling you. Like they're choosing or dealing with not only you, there's a feeling of inconsistency here. Now, for those of you guys, like I said, 
that have been dealing with someone that had commitment issues. I feel they're coming back around, but you need to be careful not to rush the situation, not to allow them to think that it's okay uh, to walk out of your life whenever they feel like it. Because if you quickly go back to, you know, being girlfriend, boyfriend, or uh, dealing with each other the way you dealt with each other in the past, the moment they reach out and they're trying to come back around, if you make it easy for them, Cancer, there's going to be no consistency in, on their part. It's almost like a habit or um, something that they're going to know or feel like they can get away with every time they do this. And you don't want that because it's a pattern that is being created. So pay attention to that, okay? Uh, as you guys can see here, we're dealing with two ships, right? There's two ships here, and it's almost like the, you know, the waves are standing out very strongly to me. So it is kind of like juggling the emotions or playing on your emotions, or they're, you know, for those of you guys that are dealing with someone that is taken, playing on the emotions of their partner um, because they know they can get away with certain things. So again, you don't want to make it a habit or you don't want to teach them or make them think that it's okay to ghost you, that it's okay to come back around whenever they want to. And this is crucial if you're wanting some type of commitment from this person. Don't make it easy, Cancer. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.